Toto changed on a lot of their albums. I asked Steve Lukather if it helped or hurt the band. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I remember getting the debut album when I was 18 years old, Toto One, and loving that kind of power pop feel that they had. Considering they played on Silk Degrees, there was still a feel of that on the debut album, but for me, it was more of a rocker. When Hydra came out, my first reaction was, wow, this is a little bit more proggy. And then I kept listening to it and it just sounded different than the first one. And I was kind of spoiled from the first album, almost like I wanted to hear Don't Look Back after the debut from Boston. But that wouldn't have been a good thing. And as I look back now, I realize that I really liked Hydra a lot more than maybe I did back then. But Toto did not stay in the same place. Of course, it was a lot of personnel changes through the years. I asked Steve Lukather about that. Yeah, but we wanted to. I I think we were fighting the image of being bagged as a soft rock band. I don't really understand what that is. What's the criteria? Like, where do you cross over? Is Rosanna considered soft rock? I don't really know. It's such a vague, weird term. I don't know why you have to put a label on everything. It's just, it is what it is. I mean, our music has always been like this anyway, because we can go like that. Some bands just don't have the musical vocabulary to go into different to have have a hold the line uh, girl goodbye and georgie porgy on the same record now grants georgie porgy silly lyric and all that stuff but it t- hit a nerve you know a lot of dave's silly lyrics hit a nerve you know what i mean we get bored but you know at the same time people know the song so if that gets them to listen to some of our deeper stuff that mm-hmm. gone on through as we got more mature great i like playing girl goodbye as much you know it's fun yeah playing for an audience you know, I mean, I don't sit around the house strumming Africa, you know what I mean? Yeah, what's what's the hardest I thing? I with a box cutter than do that. Well, I think anybody, Elton John said the same thing. Elton, he says, you know what, I'm not, sometimes I can't pretend that I, I want to play the same song all the time, but he says I go into sort of a different trance playing, he says... That's right. I mean, when, you know, when you go out there and, you know, 10,000 people or more start singing Africa, it's a trip. Yeah, especially all around the world, where you go all around the world, people know this music that we've made, and everybody's got a story about it. You know, I, you know, are the people that dig us really dig us. The people that don't really don't. So, yeah, look, there's a very little gray area. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. This is Rock History Music.